Hi guys, Rachel with Spunky Misfit Girl here, and I'm working on these doors for the front of my gothic journal that I've got in progress, and I found my closure that I wanted at Hobby Lobby, along with some brads that I really like better. These are Paper Studio. Um, they have flatter heads than the ones that I was using, and they're a little bit smaller too. Um, so I like those. So I'm going to try and see if I can get this to work on my paper doors. comes with screws, of course, but because it's paper, I'm hoping that the brads will work. So what I'm going to do here now is glue my doors with their flaps to my picture. It's gonna go on the inside. I also found my paper that I'm gonna cover the front of the journal with. So let's see, and make sure I do this right. So I'm gonna put this guy here. It's nice when the backs of things will not be seen and you can just draw all over them as needed. <laughs> this is what I did to figure out where my doors need to go. So that should be about right. And then this guy is gonna go over here on this one. Just like this. So that it sits in my drawing that I made. And that should put my doors. Move it out just a little bit. Okay. I also cut out uh, insides pieces ready for the insides. I decided to make them just like the outsides. Uh, so those are ready to go once we've got the closure in here. Assuming it works. <laughs> All right, so the next question then is where this guy needs to go um, to make this work right, which is pretty tight in here. So I think that's about what I want for this guy. Just like this. Doesn't want to stay still. All right. Um, I need a skinny pencil or just, I'm gonna use this pen, I think. To mark these holes, I need them to not move around. Fussy, fussy. All right, here, and here, and here, and here. All right, I'm gonna just use my awl poke these. I'll go down on the desk. So I can find these holes that I marked. 
make them all the way through so they'll fit my brads in there. Let's just do one side first and see if this works. That might be a little small. Let's try. Oh, it's a little too small. the other way too. This one. That'll do. I maybe should have put this on chipboard or something to make it a little bit more sturdy. do it again that might be what I do all right so I've got my brads in my closure test them out look at that guys I think that's gonna work just spin these a little so that they their legs will lay like this Flatten that out. Oh, I'm pleased. So now, let's make sure that spins still over the, that's the thing, the brads do stick up a little bit, so the, this guy needs to, be able to go over the top of them to open and close. Mm, that's an issue with this guy. The bottom one doesn't matter, but this top one is still a little bit big. I think it's still gonna work, but it's gonna be a little fussy and sticky. it needs to go. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can get that guy to sit. A little closer down. Maybe we'll grease it up or something too. <laughs> I think it'll work though. It's not ideal, I might have to, again, see if I can find another solution. Maybe there's a flatter brad, even more than this. My regular brads that I've been using would not have worked for this. I'm glad I found these. Paper Studio ones at Hobby Lobby. They're also, I think, less expensive, but the box is, has a bunch of different colors. It has like shiny ones in it and stuff too, which I probably won't use, so. All right, there's my holes on the other side. Should work. And I'm gonna put my brads in here, I don't think it matters which direction this goes. There we go. <laughs> Don't you love it? <laughs> I love it. That is cool. That's going to go on top of here. Like this. I love it, guys. 
So then I've just got my insides and I did also, you'll see I covered up the tabs in here with these guys that match this paper out there. So I'll have a little bit in between. It's a little bit awkward. Probably I will think about some different ways to do this the next time I do it, but overall, I'm really pleased with how this is turning out. It's gonna be a really cool cover. So I'm just gonna glue these guys on my sides now to cover up the brad legs. I cut those to size on my insides of my doors. Maybe next time I should make that more like a wooden interior or something. I don't know, this is okay. This will still look good. black those edges up a little bit just to make sure that they're looking integrated with each other and there's no whites or creams showing here. A little bit of white on my front that I think my back piece got a little bit tall yeah in here too a little white in there showing I probably should have done the edges of those inside pieces a little more. I got a little bit. It's going to need some cutting. It's trimming off, I think. Right here. Just to make that edge just right. extra check it out all right so I need to just fix up this bit as well but that those that's the closure for my doors that worked out pretty well you will need to have some very flat brads for this to work uh, and you need to make sure that you kind of get that really down in there, the legs really flat so that it sits as far down in there as you can. I see now too that these are different colors. <laughs> these are a little more brown. Uh, these are a little more gold, uh, but that's okay. I am cool with that. And so that is gonna go right on something like this. Uh, but that's how to put a, this is a jewelry, if you look in the wood section in the craft store, um, they're going to have different closures like this. I actually got a couple of other ones um, alongside this one, but this is the one that I wanted to really make, see if I could work. It's intended for a wood box. I think they call it like a jewelry box closure or something like that. Um, and that's where you can find it but it works on paper as well. Thanks for watching, guys.